Disney and Pixar fans unite! Hey, what's happening gamers? I'm K-Wing and welcome to Disney Infinity, Disney's answer to Skylanders. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to mash that like button, add your favorites, and light up that comment section, because it really does help us out a lot. Without further ado, we hope you enjoy our walkthrough, let's play guide, whatever, on Disney Infinity. Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Disney Infinity. And uh, we are taking a look at Storybrooke here in the toy box. Hey. And since we don't have any uh, Once Upon a Time characters... Oh, I'm Rapunzel. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> We're going to play as Rapunzel Yay. in Storybrooke. Because it seems fitting, you know? Yeah, she's the closest thing we have to an old-fashioned character. That's right. So uh, I also wanted to take this time to apologize for uh, no videos on the Let's Play channel. I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I had a uh, Once Upon a Time marathon. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Sorry, Because right, Amber introduced me to the show and then I watched like 16 yeah, episodes back yeah, to back. I was surprised how much you liked the show. So this is Storybrooke. Um, you can kind of guess. I mean, I think the person did a pretty good job I'm trying to make it. I believe this big building over here this is the hospital. The hospital. Yeah. And now Luke can kind of help me out a little bit because before he didn't really know. Nope. Um, I have not watched season three or four. Um, I've watched, I believe, one and most of two. There is the clock very tower. important clock tower, which if you've watched the show... Um, when everyone was cursed for the first 28 years in Storybrooke, the clock stood still. And that was until Emma came to town, and then when she came to town, the clock started moving again. Because she is the savior of the town. Which is all told in the first episode, so I didn't spoil anything. Spoiler! I didn't... <laughs> I was trying and, to jump uh, up here, but they're not they are not going to let me. I believe it's playing A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes from Cinderella in the background, which is really nice. One of my favorite songs of all time, so. So fitting. Um, now they're playing something else. Now they're switching the song. Thanks a lot. So, um, maybe I should move around and show the different places. I don't know. Be my guess. <laughs> um, let's see what we have here. Uh, well, I guess you can go right where you were going before. So, I mean... That's the town line. This is the town line. Obviously, if... Uh, in Storybrooke, all the characters in here are, uh, like... If Rapunzel lived in Storybrooke, she wouldn't be wearing clothes like this. She'd have normal clothes, like jeans and stuff normal like that. Normal clothes. And, but she would, uh... When they were first banished here, they, uh... Their memories were, uh, taken away from that they weren't storybook characters. So, and then when the curse was broken, of course, then they kind of remembered who they were. But if they crossed the town line, then they would forget who they really were and they would just think they were people. But so you can look at the, there, it kind of makes you <laughs> bounce back like that. And let's go see where we, if we can find the, uh, maybe the mayor's house. Oops, sorry, Rapunzel. Rapunzel's now lost her memory. Forever. So, this looks like it's probably the mayor's house. And I think it's kind of fitting that the mayor has kind of like uh, Why you keep lasers <laughs> like in her yard because the mayor is, as everyone knows, the evil queen. So this looks just like the mayor's house and they did a good job on that. And I, I guess I can let you roam around. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of controlling. Look at that. I, I'm kind of like Troll evil. freak. I'm kind of like the evil queen right now. I took the yeah, controller. Totally. Uh... So I'm guessing this might be there is a secret passageway to the the back of the the queen's uh place where she lives, so this is probably that. I think the music totally stopped. Yep. Okay. It's because you Q hijacked it. That's why. Sorry. They're like, you're a pirate, you're a hook. No. You're a hook. That's well, what that's what that's who you are. Alright, so uh I think, what, what do you think this place is, Kaywing? Looks like a playground. Yeah, I think this is the playground that Henry used to play on, who is the adopted son of the evil, or of the mayor. Of the mayor. Who, the evil mayor. Yeah. Um, and then the mayor actually, 
All right, I'm probably going to spoil some things here, guys. So she actually tears it down when she finds out that Emma and uh, Henry were playing here together. Uh, like, this was their special spot they would come. So that's she just, so evil. She didn't want her to spend any time with uh, Emma. Or he, she didn't want him to spend any time with Emma. So, yeah. So, like I said. No love for Emma. Why is there no music? I'm getting really annoyed. Maybe we should put, like, a background to this so we have music. Just have to be patient. All right, I'm annoyed. I really like the sky. It looks really fairy tale like. It's really nice. And um, over here is. You have to think about it. It says the bank. There's the bank. That shop right there. I mean, they couldn't put things completely right next to each other. I think that's Granny's. I think this is Granny's too because it looks like a restaurant. So Granny's is where uh, Granny and Little Red Riding Hood. Ruby. Yep. Ruby. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they run a diner together. So this is probably Granny's Diner. Um, <laughs> I think that this over here. Whoa. All right. I think that this is the place where the nuns live. I think. I don't remember seeing nuns in this series. There is one episode. They have like a, uh, they sell candles for. Um, well, there's a few different episodes, but they they sell candles for a fundraiser, and all the nuns are really the fairies from the other land. So they are nuns in the in the real or in our in our world. Uh, let's see here. I'm I'm just gonna show what I want to show, and then I'll give the reins to K Wing again. I'm fine. <laughs> That's the Mad Hatter's house, isn't it? Uh, his house would be really big. So I don't know. Oh, like over here. Well, uh, that's the sheriff's, or that's the police. Oh yeah, there's a police station. Yep, yep, totally makes sense. That's kind of off in the boonies a little bit. So this is probably the Mad Hatter's house because P N K. I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. So that's probably the Mad Hatter's house um, because he has a very big house, and uh. He's also banished, even though he's not from the Enchanted Forest. He's actually from a different land. Wonderland. Uh, yeah, but he's banished there anyway. And here we have somebody's uh, ship, which is docked right by the town, which is totally accurate to the uh, t- um, the show. It's probably Hook's. So, yeah. <laughs> Looks like this is Captain Hook's town. I cannot believe there's no music. I'm, like, really annoyed. I think I'll stop saying that. Probably be a good idea. (laughs) It's a pirate walking on land. Yeah. Well, this is actually not the the Jolly Roger. Like, um, it's um, one of the Pirates of the Caribbean ships. Oh. The Jolly Roger is a toy that you can get in the original Disney Infinity, but you have to have a power disc to get it. So this is a uh, pirate of the Caribbean ship. But that's... it works. Yeah, it works for Captain Hooks. But that's really interesting that you can actually get Captain Hooks uh, ship. And and then there's people walking around here, which is totally accurate. So that's good. Yes, totally accurate for them to be walking on top of the water. Well, no. <laughs> no. And because then... what they're doing is the whole like you put a blanket to use for water. You get a blue blanket and like for a toy box. Yeah. And... You pretend that it's water. Usually when I used to play with toys, I would have the toys lie down so it looked like they were in the water. Because if they were standing Uh, above, it would be like, how are my toys standing on the water? Yay, music. And then um, this is what Luke doesn't like about the town. Why are the trees just standing there? I mean, they did a really good job with this, but the trees are kind of floating. Then they failed. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to run faster to get to the next There is thing. no way to wor- run faster. Oh, maybe that is the... Maybe that's the Mad Hatter's place way out there. That's a pretty big mansion right there. Are you sure that's the Queen's house again? Or could be the Mad Hatter's. Oh, wait. Is this the Queen's house again? I don't know. Hit back. Oh, no, sorry. I don't. I really don't know whose mansion this is now, honestly. All right. Well, anyway, the Mad Hatter and the Queen have... Pretty big house, isn't it? Either there's a school, so this is either the school or the place where the nuns live, but I'm not sure if that might be one and the same. So um I'm gonna let K Wing take it in a in a second, because I we have to see the mines and things like that. Oh yeah. Gotta so, go to the mines. 
Um, the only thing I don't know is the most, one of the most important places is Mr. Gold's shop, which I think this is probably his shop, the saloon. That looks a lot like his shop. Yeah, the, that's probably Mr. Gold or Rumpelstiltskin <laughs> shop. Exactly. So. But I mean, again, this isn't 100% accurate. This is like, I mean, it's pretty good for what it is, but the road really isn't as long as um, the road is in Storybrook. Yeah. And then. And then out here, uh, there's a cemetery. You got the cemetery and that. So I'll let Kaming take it away. You can do the cemetery and uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go, Kaming. I'm sorry. I kind of took control. Control freak. Sorry. That's fine. So <laughs> this right business. here is the cemetery where the evil queen or Regina. Whoa. Uh -huh. Oh, the music came on for you. Yeah, I mean, you can't really go in it, better. but inside, this is where she keeps all the people's hearts. Like, if you've seen the series, she, like, basically pulled, like, a fatality and ripped out all the hearts of the inhabitants and keeps them locked up in a, a box yeah. where she can control them. And she controls the characters that are not just from uh, the Disney world. Like, she has, like, uh, Grimm, and uh, she'll have, like characters from all over the place but this is supposed to represent the graveyard and this misty area i think is supposed to be part of the enchanted forest because like right behind the graveyard is like this misty area that you always see them going to hmm. so i mean this area here could be part of the enchanted forest so yeah. uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to break out a item that uh is new to disney infinity it's a spider-man item and it allows rapunzel to kind of fly like this and, so oh, we can get oh, to yeah. where we need to go a little bit faster oh, so we're gonna sorry. head to the mines first don't forget the mines i am not gonna forget the mines of moria I'm sorry i didn't go fast i feel bad yeah you've, it's terrible okay this is the mines and the uh, crystals that are in here they uh, have the fairy dust that is uh considered the white magic or the good magic and yeah, quote, good magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the thing that they like to do in um, this uh, fairy tale setting or, you know, uh, once upon a time is say that all magic has a price. And I always thought that was kind of interesting. That's probably one of the things that hooked me to the series because every time they use magic, something bad happens, whether good or bad. Yeah. There's always a consequence for using it. It's like, like a sacrifice. Uh, yeah. An example, when they use the blue fairy to turn August... <laughs> Uh, into Pinocchio, like back into a real boy or whatever, and the girl who's evil sees them using the magic, that's that's <laughs> a cost of magic right there. Even though it's the, the blue fairy stuff, it's still, mm -hmm. you know, it still has a price that they're going to have to pay later on because of that. Yeah. And uh, that's how far I got in the series anyways, when that Tamara girl showed up. Oops. Yeah, I mean, what I, I like that about the show, and I also really like the whole like thing where there's hardly any shows anymore where good is good and evil is evil what is going so on i really like the good versus evil thing and seeing i think it's really amazing how they made all the different characters interact i would have never imagined that all those story characters could interact in the same show so oh i actually can edit their town that's nice to know yeah. if i want to i can actually fix the trees and some other things which i'm very tempted to do because some of this is just really poorly done like they have all this uh, floating stuff right in the middle of nowhere. What what I haven't seen yet either is the well, which acts as kind of a portal back to um, the uh, fairy tale land. And I haven't really yeah. been able to find that. I have explored this a little bit. They also have a Melissifant um, flying around oh, as yeah. in her dragon yep, form. They do. Um, and she'll attack you randomly sometimes. She's like. The one who drops fire down from the <laughs> sky that Amber almost got like burnt by. Oops. But the character like very randomly appears. It's it's not. Yeah, I wish they would have put more story, like uh, like if they had Snow White and everyone running around the town. You know, if they would have added the little chibi characters in here. This that is would have been. This cool. is the one thing I don't get about these towns too. Um, when people make these things. They always make them empty. Uh, the Aladdin town is a perfect example. Like, there's nothing to do. There's no characters to fight. You just run around exploring, you know, what, what people did. So what I would suggest, when you guys actually make your 
um, things for us to showcase that, or you know, other people in general, make sure there's stuff to do in the town. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, this is just this is I nice. Mean, there was actually an ice troll in one of the Once Upon a Time episodes, so yes. it makes sense. Like, you could have all kinds of weird enemies in yeah, your town because I mean, you don't have to have them everywhere. Mm-hmm. But fun. Okay, maybe this is supposed to be a forest area. Or I don't. The- I don't know. This yeah. is this might be the wood area. There's a uh, stagecoach here. I don't really. Re- this don't this could that. be this could be August's. Um, oh yeah, the place where he had to stay. Yeah. His um, trailer. His, his trailer. <laughs> yeah, that could be August's trailer. But I still don't see a well anywhere. Yeah, and also the well was also the place that Rumpelstiltskin brought magic back to the town. Yes. Spoiler again. Spoilers! Another spoiler. So many spoilers! I'm sorry for, for ah, kind of explaining ah, everything so fast and oh taking wait, the thing away from the wing Is this a well? I don't know. What is this? No. This is just, I don't know what all this, this stuff is. I mean, but, uh, I really, I would give this person a like um, for their creation, but I mean, at the same time, there's a lot of things that need to be improved, like, Tremendously. Yeah, but you can tell they went to a lot of work um, to put this all together. Oh, yeah, without it a doubt. Painstakingly. Yeah. But the only thing I don't like is, like, I felt like the order of the houses was a little off. Like, they were just sporadically all around. Like, but, I mean, it's it's kind of hard whereas to... Whereas um, in the series, they're kind of, like, all in a line. Like, you know how Midwestern towns are. I mean, Storybrooke is basically... It's, in, it's a place in Maine, but it felt like a Midwest town to me in the series. Mm-hmm. Where it was just like all on one street. It was basically one street ran through the entire town. You know what I mean? So it's not a very, not a very big town. All right. So how do I lower this? This is what I want to do. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it didn't allow the person to. Aha! There we go. There we go. We got the tree on the ground. Booyah! No, let's not do that. Let's let's get this one down too because I just can't. Can't stand but it. I don't know how much of Storybrooke I'm, or Once Upon a Time I'm going to be watching in the future because I'm really upset, like, about Hook and Emma and just, oh my gosh, just, I don't even know. Amber was a fan of Neil and Emma. But if you guys yeah. have watched the show, well, you know that Neil isn't around very long. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of, like, so, not really Emma's fault. Um... Yeah, I mean, no! the, the thing I really love about the show is, you know, like, there's good versus evil, and good um, always has a way of winning in the end. And, winning. And they don't have to, like, compromise their morals to win. Like, there's always a way for them to win the right way. And, wow. And true love is, like, the most powerful magic in the whole, like, land or universe. Yes. And it's more powerful than anything else. And but like, Snow White does kind of compromise her ideals. No, it's okay. Especially with, no. Come on, Snow White is, is perfect. Not what she did to Korra. All right. Well, anyway. Anyway, guys. Um, hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm just being devil's advocate here because somebody's going to bring that up. Somebody who's seen the show is going to be like, no, Snow White did this. Be like, yeah, she did do that. But she really didn't have a choice. So, I mean. So, it's a very well-acted show. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, You know, I don't know what to say. I, I threw Amber off. I, I really <laughs> like the show, and it, it's great. I, I wish, I can't wait to see Rapunzel in it or something. But She's in I, season three from I think what, that, what people keep telling me. Oh, okay. I really like uh, I really like the romance between Snow White and Prince Charming, and Luke really likes the romance between Belle I and am, the Beast. I am definitely a... Okay, well, the Beast in this series is Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah. So, I mean, I really like my favorite couple and, like, story they, yeah, is very Rapunzel together. and Belle. Yeah. Or not Rapunzel and Belle, crap. Uh, Beast, Beast and, and Bell. Bell. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing as Tangled, and it was like my mind was all jumbled. Ha <laughs> ha. Also, I'm trying to fix all these trees. You can see the person. Why? What, did they do this just to bother me? Did is, they, my messing with my OCD now, here? Is is Merida in the? Uh, uh, I thought I saw like a picture of yes. her from this. Merida is in season three. Wow, I missed so four. much. Something like that. So, well, they also have Elsa and Anna in the series, too. Wow. So oh, yeah, that's right. The I only character I haven't uh, seen or heard anything about is Aladdin. Yeah, like they, I know. They got Mulan in it, but they only have Mulan. Mulan needs to be in it more. She's so cool. Come on. Yeah, but she doesn't really have a love interest. They, they I didn't know. bring in... I her forget. Guy. I forget what her guy is. 
Because they the- make her in love. They make Mulan in the show in love with the same person as Sleeping Beauty. Oh, Prince Philip? Yeah, they Ooh. make them both in love with the same guy, which is totally inaccurate. Because Mulan has her own hunky guy. I forget what his name is. I don't know, I feel but so he bad. sings the song Be a Man. Be a man. Yep. <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> General General Chow? No. Mulan is one of my favorite Disney movies, but I have to say some of my all time favorite Disney movies are a Disney princess or whatever are um obviously Fixing uh, Trees. Cinderella, Snow White, and Ah, it's Sleeping the, Beauty. Oh, why? But you know, there's been two. No, no, there has. There's only been one Sleeping Beauty movie. I was thinking Rapunzel and Sleeping Beauty were the same thing, but no, they're not. Oh, ah. oh, that's just no. All right, so we're get, we're getting rid of this. This this is no. They've made all like the really major ones. They have made Rapunzel. It took them so long to make Rapunzel. Rapunzel this- with Tangled. I mean, well, I would have yeah. thought they would have made Rapunzel right away back in the 40s or something, but they waited for a long no, time. No, I, I don't. Th- I think they wanted to focus on other other stuff. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. The trees are finally. But so this right. is Storybrooke. If we, if you guys think we got, oh, that's probably the school there. Where? Right there. That that, that, that that building is probably the school. That looks like the Mad Hatter's place. Okay, well, because look, be look at the place. look at the structure of the. Uh, look at how well, big then, it is. That's. I feel like then they. It's in the. There room. it is. There's, there's, um, there's Melis- Melisifant. Melisifant. Let's see if I can get her. And she's actually in dragon form in the, uh... Whoa! In Storybook for some reason. Where's she going? So, there I mean, it's goes. a very intriguing series. It definitely pulls you in. If you love series that have to do with true love and good winning over evil... Why and, can't I get her? And, and fighting dragons and monsters and... What? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Where'd it go? Tales of old of the enchanted forest. Ah, oh, I wanted. Then, I so wanted to fight. I mean, definitely, it's it's a fun fun series. It's a great series, but um, I think that's gonna wrap up uh, this thing. If you guys want to, us to check out uh, your toy box, uh, make sure you submit it to us and uh, let us know the name of it so we can download it. And uh, we'll totally check it out. Uh, just a reminder, though, like when you do submit stuff, it's always a good idea to have stuff to do in your town. Um, so, I mean, and also, like, allow people to edit it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know? we'll be happy with whatever you submit. But just we enjoy if you were able to put some enemies in there, then we can do a little bit more because Kaywing likes to fight stuff when he's talking. I like to fight things. It's like, not just. Yeah. The only thing I don't understand is they don't have a yellow line on the other side. There should be a yellow line on both sides. Well, hey, oh well. for for what it is, they but, they've done but, a pretty um, good job. But yeah. what is this? What is? I don't understand this. I have what no is the idea. purpose of this? I don't. I get don't know. It. I don't but um, that. yeah. But thank you very much uh, to the person who made this. And if it's you. You can let us know in the comments. Is it you? Are you the one? If, if you're the one who made this, and, uh, you know, um, we thought they did a really good... This is a pretty cool um, storybook. Yeah. Oh, it's inspiring me. I'm going to want to make my own, but it's... It, Get to it, Amber. <laughs> Do it. it. It's certainly a, a tremendous task to make an entire town. It is. It is a tremendous task. So, gap. I think I... I don't know if I have time to do it, but it's very cool. I like... Great job, and we had fun uh, walking around Storybrooke and trying to figure out what all the buildings were. And if you guys think uh, you saw one of the buildings that we missed or something, let us know in the comments. And please let us know if there's a toy box you want us to look at next. Yeah, totally. I'm, I, I'm gonna. I'm adding. Oh, you people. put Robin Hood in there. Yeah, Robin Hood is actually in it. He later. is. But he's not a fox. Yeah. Sadness. What is that ship, Mr. Toad? Yes. Oh, they won't let, yeah, they will let me put Mr. Toad. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And uh, we'll be back um, tomorrow with another Toy Box-centered Yay. video. Oh, there's Prince Charming. Okay, Yay, there he Prince, Prince Charming. Charming. Now he needs Snow White. I don't know who Grand Duke is. <gasps> there's Snow White. Cinderella. Two things over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got her. There we there, go. There's Snow. There's Dopey. Look at that. Look at that. We put Grumpy in the town. Everybody's happy. Peter, no, Except Peter for Pan. Grumpy. We don't, Captain Hook needs oh, to be there. If you guys know in the show, what was Grumpy's original name before he had something sad happen to him and he became Grumpy? In the in the, it's not in the cartoon, but it's in the show. Bill, Bill, 
What? No, this wasn't his original name. No, I know. We got Pokemon. I know. And... So if you guys know, put it in the comments. Yes. Do you know? Uh, Do you know? No. I, well, I, I would guess, but I would be wrong. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Yeah. So we got Jiminy Cricket, the town psychiatrist, dude beating up po Pinocchio. Yeah. That's great. And Belle. I don't know where Belle's bookstore is. Oh, wait. No, oh Belle's my bookstore gosh. is. The, yeah, she needs the bookstore. She, her bookstore is the tower. Oh yeah, you're right. It is. It is. So how are they? Jafar's sad because be he, he can't he can't get inside. It'd be the library. Yeah, the library slash. Maybe clock that's tower. why there was a magazine rack in front of it. Yeah, that could be it. There's but no door. God bless and happy gaming, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another Disney Infinity Toy Box Adventure. <laughs> Whoops. Yay. See ya.